hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be installing my tape extensions from dores much requested from you guys so i'm going to do it today i'm going to be giving you some tips on placement and also some tips about tape extensions in general so if you're interested to see how i get on then just continue to watch so hi guys if you're new here welcome my name is Juliet and I do new videos on this channel every week I do lots of fashion beauty lifestyle vlogs you name it I do it I also wear tape in hair extensions I've been wearing them for years because my natural hair is very thin and fine it is just the way it is it's still in great condition and silky and healthy but it just is the type of hair that I have and um, so I actually had went and had my hair dyed today um, I just had some highlights put through kept it very more multi-tonal um, because these extensions are also very multi-tonal. Just wanted to share this hair with you. So I have actually worked with Dores previously. They sent me the hair for me to do a clip-in hair extension video and I was so impressed that I really wanted to try the tapes. The cost of these tapes are actually ridiculous. They're so, so reasonably priced. The hair feels just like the clipping hair extensions and I'm really excited to try them. So this is the 18 inch and this shade is the 17A slash 60A. So I will leave them linked below so you can find them. But basically what tape extensions are, if you are not familiar, they are a piece of extension with a sticky tab at the top and what you do is you get a sum I'm just going to show you here quickly so you get like a piece of hair a thin slice it would be thinner than this so you get a thin slice of hair like so you place one tape underneath you place another one on top like a sandwich you stick them together you let them settle and there it is that is a tape extension i have used beautyworks tape extensions for years um it is just they are expensive and i like to change my tape extensions every four weeks which is quite often but the main reason is because of the type of hair that i have i don't like it to grow out too much and put any more tension on my natural hair than needs to be so that is why i'm looking for a more reasonably priced alternative so i thought i would review these and give these a go for you first of all what i do is a color match now because i've already tried the clip-ins i know that these are an amazing color match anyway but what you would do is you would just part your hair pop a tape not actually place it but just pop it in and then just hold it in your hair and see how it well it blends um, i actually took my extension to my hairdresser just to make sure that we got the color spot on so we didn't actually do a toner on my hair we just did a full um, head of foil highlights um, a bit brighter for the summer and they would match perfectly so yeah i've got two packs of tape extensions here there is 20 sandwiches 20 tapes in a pack which is 10 sandwiches um that's how i like to think of it and then so i've got 40 so i've got 40 pieces and 20 sets and um, 20 sandwiches i will probably get about 16 in my hair dependent on how i how like how many i want to put in because my hair is pretty long anyway i don't really need too many because obviously the length is all already there it's just to thicken out the ends so what i'm going to do is because i've done so many tape extensions step by step before what i thought i would do today was actually pop them in film me doing them and then do a little bit of a voiceover telling you why i do things how i do things give you some tips and tricks along the way so i'm going to set you up now so you can see the back of my head i'm going to be using two mirrors today so i would always suggest having like so i've got one mirror here i've got one mirror here behind me so i can see the back and i will turn around the other way when i'm doing the sides so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to position you so you can see the back of my head and hopefully i can talk you through it step by step okay let's start with what you're going to need so you're going to need a couple of clips and i always love to use a tail comb because one thing about putting tape extensions in is the partings and getting the partings neat is the most important part so i think a tail comb really really helps 
So I'm going to start by parting my first section now. This is the one that you want to make sure is about an inch away from your hairline. I sometimes go a little bit higher because I've got thin and fine hair. I want to make sure that the tape extensions are completely concealed when I tie my hair up in a ponytail, which is quite often. You then want to clip the rest of your hair away using just a little clip. And then what I do now is I just check the section. I just check that it's thick enough folding it up and making sure that I've got enough at the sides as well because when you do your first row you want to make sure you're coming in an inch from the sides as well so that the tapes are completely concealed. Okay so you want to grab your first piece of hair extension. Now I have found that after doing this for many many years you find easier ways of doing them but this is what I do. So I look for the middle of my head because in my first row I'm going to have two pieces. So I will see where the middle of my head is, I will get my first extension, I will take the tape off and then what I do is I go in here now, you will see me checking for the middle of my head and then I'm popping the first tape on. Now a lot of people do this different ways, they will put the tape underneath, like they will get the thin section of hair ready and then put the tape, the first half of the tape extension underneath. What I've learned to do with my hair that actually works really well and it also makes sure I'm getting the right amount of hair between the two tapes so that there's enough hair so that it doesn't cause as much damage but also so that there is not too much hair. I actually am going in and doing both of the tops as well. So this is something else that I've just started doing more so so I can get the placement right before I seal the tapes. So those are two in. You want to make sure as well, I'll fold them up now to make sure they're not pulling on my hair in any way. You don't want to go too close to the root. You want to go as close as you can, but you don't want it too too close to the root so that it will pull. So that's why I've just folded the hair up just to make sure. Then I get my tail comb and I will run it under the extension like so. And then I will just press onto the tape so that I'm making sure all the hair is stuck to it. Then I use the tail of the comb to then slide across and make sure I've got all the excess hair off the tape. You want to make sure there's no stickiness left, but you also want to make sure you've caught no hairs in there that are going to cause discomfort. So what I like to do once I've got my section nice and neat is I will get a little clip. I find that these like parting clips work really, really well. Then I will get my second half of the tape extension and sandwich them together. What's really important at this point is again making sure you're not too close to the root but also you want to make sure that all the edges marry up because you don't want to have any like sticky edges sticking out that can get your natural hair caught into it. Then I get my hair straighteners and I literally just tap them a couple of times. Some people hold the hair extensions on. I don't think the hair straighteners on, sorry. I don't think this is necessary. It just, a couple of taps just heat the glue up and make sure that they're all molded together and that your hair is neatly sealed between the two tapes. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and do the next extension on this bottom row. Again, I'm taking my time to make sure all the hair that's not adhered to the tape is taken out because this is what causes pulling, it what can, what's, it's what can cause like bald spots or hair loss. You don't want any straggly hairs in there whatsoever. So the more time you take on this, the better. I'm making sure every single part of the tape has some hair on. And then again, again, I'm getting my clip clipping it out of the way and then getting the second half of my tape extension. And as if by magic, that is the first row complete. I'm now gonna repeat the process. So I've taken all my hair down. I'm then going to section off the next row. You want to make sure that you are probably about half an inch to an inch higher than the first row that you've put in because you don't want them to overlap. And then what I'm doing again is parting, 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 making sure this is nice and neat. I've got a nice neat row. I will check it, double check it, and then clip up the top nice and neatly away so that it doesn't get tangled while I'm focusing on my second row. So this is another place where people, some people are different. I actually like to do my tape extensions in a brick effect. And the reason I do this is I just feel like it gives the most, it gives the fullest look and it gives the most natural look, especially when you're tying your hair up. So I'm just, I've, the, the extensions still got tapes on here. I'm just spacing them out to make sure that when three tape extensions are on this row, I'm gonna have enough at the side for if I'm putting my hair up. So when I say a brick effect, because I've got two underneath the next section the next tape extension sorry will go directly in the middle of my head so it's a brick effect the two below and then again 
there'll be three on this row so there'll be one in the middle and then one on either side And there we have it as if by magic there's the next row in it's already thickening up loads so I will move on to the next row so the next row I actually will start going round to the sides of my head again some people do this completely differently to me but this is the placement that works best for me I feel I can get the most extensions in my hair and it looks the most natural so I'm just going to start parting now like I say from the front all the way around almost come in from the just above my ears at the front and then I will kind of swoop down so it almost follows the shape of my head if that makes sense but I will let you see this anyway and again just parting 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 making sure it's neat making sure all my hair is out the way and then I will get started on this next row again using a brick effect Okay, so with the brick effect again, I will be making sure I start at the back. I still always think it's best to start at the back and move to the front. But you just want to make sure that when you do move to the front, they are at equal parts on both sides. So you'll see me moving like from one mirror to the other, just to make sure that when I go around the sides, they are in exactly the same place. As you can see now it's filling out really nice I could probably get one more row around the back but I will start focusing on the front in a moment but again every time I do a row I just tie it up into a ponytail just to quickly check that everything is concealed and everything is in the right place and then I will start to move around the front of my hair and to the sides so I'm just quickly showing you here now what it looks like. So you can see how I need to fill out that front section. To be fair, you can actually go for this style if you wanted to, but I want to fill out the front so that it blends nicely. So I will now be moving from one mirror to the other to just make sure that I get the sections right. So it's pretty much the same technique. I will find the row below, come a little bit above it. You also want to make sure at this point that you are about an inch away from the top of your ear. You don't want to go too close to your ear as well. You don't want to go too close to your front hairline either. So with this, you just want to nice spend lots of time getting your sections right. Once you've got the one side sorted, you can then turn around and just mirror that onto the other side to make sure they are nice and even, dependent on where your parting is. So I genuinely wear, generally wear a middle parting, but if you did wear a side parting, you could do this so that you are putting your extensions into your parting. But I just find if you do it to a middle part and you keep things nice and neat, you can actually wear your hair either way. Okay, 
okay this is it straight after and this is just like the perfect amount i'm really really pleased with the blend of them now i've had to put one quite close to the front here um because i've got like shorter hair at the front so i will have a look at it and i will probably i might cut it but i might just leave it as it is because I curl my hair a lot and so you can't really tell but these are the taping hair extensions I'm so pleased with them we just quickly show you the back just so you can see we like just brush it out the blend is phenomenal they are so beautiful I'm really really pleased so when you put it up as you can see I'll let me do it properly as you can see when you've got your hair up you can't see any tapes and this is what you are looking for um and yeah even the ones here at the front you can't really see so yeah i am so so pleased with them now try not to touch them 24 hours i'm gonna let them settle but yeah so so pleased got my birthday hair yay <laughs> So as always, you can use my code Juliet20 for 20% off these hair extensions. And honestly, when I say that they are such good value for money, I'm not joking. <laughs> so yes, I will see how they go. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye. Set my